Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'll be doing a review on the Kim Kardashian West by Kylie Collab. I'm happy that I was able to get my hands on one because y'all know how that goes. So my lips are exfoliated and let's just get right into it. So here is this beauty. I can tell you already that I love, love the packaging. It has the signature Kylie um, drip drizzles on it, but I love that it's a frosted bottle. I think that's really nice. It's a nudie pink color as well, which is signature to what the set is for nudes. So I think the packaging is A plus for me already. So what made me really want to try out these lipsticks were that they are a cream liquid lipstick. Now I love matte liquid lipsticks, those are my thing, I've been wearing them for so many years now. So I was really interested in seeing what a cream liquid lipstick was all about. I have not tried them but I'm going to assume that a cream liquid lipstick may have a satin velvet finish to it. So I don't own anything like that so I'm really excited to just try these out to see what they're all about. The first one that I'm starting with is Kimberly. So far, I am loving Kimberly, okay? I am in love. Also, I noticed that the consistency is really lightweight and creamy. I mean, obviously it says cream, but it's super lightweight. It feels like a lip balm and I really love it. I'm really loving that. It's super, super lightweight. Also, this color, Yes, it's really giving me that perfect nude. It looks a lot lighter on camera from what I see. Up closer, it has a little more color, but it's so pretty. Definitely, definitely a thumbs up so far. Also, I did notice that these Lipsticks don't have a scent to them. Unlike the other Kylie, like lip glosses and lipsticks, they all smell like cake, like cake batter. This doesn't have a scent at all. And I, I actually don't mind that. Loving Kimberly. It's so hard to find a good nude because you have to find one that goes with your skin type. So what works for someone else as the perfect nude may not work for you. So it's so hard to find, but I'm loving this. And it's also not giving me ashy lip nude because that's another thing. With some nudes you get ashy lip nude and ain't nobody got time to look like you got ashy lips. So thumbs up for Kimberly so far. This comes off super easy. Like, literally, I probably could have just used a paper towel because it doesn't, it comes off like one swipe. So that's good. Next up, we have Kim and let's see how it looks. So Kim is also really pretty. Um, I did notice that the difference in this one is that it has more of a peachy tone to it. Um, Kimberly was really like nude, but kind of like a brownish kind of nude tone, but really light. And Kim, yes, Kim has more of a peachy nude to it. So it's really pretty. I like this one as well just because it gives a little more pop for like those summer months with that nice tan and that glow. Kim is also a right in my book. 
So the next one that I'll be trying on is Kiki. So Kiki, she I, she I. Um, it's definitely a lot more pink than I like. It's kind of like Barbie pink, a little bubblegum pink. Um, on camera it looks like it reads nicely, but up close it looks really, really pink to me. And um. That Barbie pink is not my favorite. Um, it also goes on a lot streakier. So that's annoying. But um, overall it's a pretty color, but not really a color for me because it's too pink. Yeah, so this one is like, eh, eh. That's what we're gonna give Kiki, eh. And lastly, we have Kemi. So it's the last one in I hope she does well. Fingers crossed. Oh, Kimmy. So already, I can tell you, this is like coral. So as you can see, Kimmy is more of a coral, peachy color. It looks nice, like it's really pretty. I can see this being my summertime color, for sure. I just love the way it feels. Honestly, it feels so good. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing lipstick at all. I cannot believe that. It's so smooth and creamy. And coming from always wearing liquid, um, matte liquid lipsticks, then this is like literally wearing chapstick. <laughs> because you know, if you wear matte liquid lipsticks and you know how dry they can be, some of them, not all of them, but some of them. So this is like night and day. So Kimmy is nice. It is a lot more coral. I wouldn't call it a nude. It just looks peachy coral. And I like it. So... I'll give her a thumbs up. Overall, I really like this collab. I love that Kim decided to do creams because they feel so good on the lips. So, so, so good. Uh, being that they are super lightweight like this and easy to take off, I would probably assume that they won't last long, which I don't remember ever seeing or hearing that they are supposed to be long lasting. So if you are looking for something that's long lasting and it will stay on all day, this probably won't be the one for you because I can see myself having to reapply this every so often. If I had to give them a rating and put them in order, I will probably say Kimberly is my number one. Uh, what's this one? Kimberly my number one, Kim is my second, Kimmy being third, which is this, the corally color, and Kiki will have to come in last only because it's super Barbie bubblegum pink and that's not really my thing at all. But I do think they are really pretty colors. Uh, the set was $45 for four lipsticks. So that's really inexpensive because sometimes we're paying like 15 to 20 bucks for one. So I think four for 45 is a steal. The price is good. The colors are good. The consistency is amazing amazing so that's all for today's review i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment below letting me know if you were able to get your hands on these lipsticks and let me know your favorite color don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in my next one